Hi everyone, um, so I'm back with another flip through and this is from our trip to Wales back in May. Um, we only went for the weekend, but it was our first sort of trip of 2021 due to COVID and they just lifted the border restrictions between Wales, England and Scotland. So we were able to go for a little road trip across to Wales, which was nice. We don't really do road trips here in the UK because we both work for the trains. We get, you know, discounts and free trains and stuff. So it's normally cheaper, but for this trip there isn't there wasn't any train stations near where we were going so we went for a little road trip as well so that was quite nice quite different um but i used like an eight by eight album which came from neon sheep and it's really chunky it's really thick and as you can see i've not really filled it that much and it will get thicker uh, i've still got to be a bit careful because the ring binders aren't that thick so i don't want it to bulge too much um but yeah we will be going back to wales at some point somewhere so I didn't want to have so many different albums. I'd rather keep them all in one album if I can. Um, but I haven't done anything with the cover just yet because I'm not too sure what I want to do. Um, I do really like this anyway, but um, I think I might um, cover this bit up and um, just, you know, use the flowers in the background sort of thing. So I'll see. I'll see. So this is the first page. So this is all about our journey and why we sort of went. Um, I use a Dovecraft um, collection for the paper in the background. It's like a spring sort of collection. I can't think what it's called, but it's quite old. Um, so it's probably not in stock anymore, but it's really colourful sort of yellows, pinks, blues, purples sort of thing. So I think it's almost like Easter. But because we went in May, it was spring like. So I thought it suited quite well and the colours were quite bright. However, I do feel like I use too many colours. Um, it sort of throws me off a little bit when I use too many colours because it becomes quite busy. Um, but I, I, you know, I still enjoy this album. I think it's nice, and I, you know, I'm glad that I uh, got it done. But you know, you do learn things as you go along of what suits you and what doesn't. Um, so basically, what I did, I screenshotted our little road trip um, from Google Maps, and as you can see, it took about four and a half hours. It took a little bit longer than that because we did stop. Um, but it was a really nice drive. Once you sort of got off the motorway and into like Wales itself, we went through like a um, load of different parks and, you know, it was just really nice. It was a really scenic trip. It wasn't just motorway all the time, which is, you know, a nice surprise. Um, but yeah, I just used a load of little random embellishments. This is a Dovecraft collection, Paper Posies, I think it's called. Um, there's some Paper Chase little flowers. Um, I used the Dovecraft enamel, like, dots not the dots but like the i can't think what it's called like the gel that you can make little dots out of um there's some little alpha stickers there um and then this is obviously just our like pack of stuff that we got given when we checked in um so inside it was an envelope but i just sort of cut the top off and used it as like a pocket um so there's a map of the resort in there so we stayed at like a holiday park sort of thing. It was quite small, but there were like individual little chalets um, right by the beach and stuff. So it was really nice. Um, it was quite quiet, which was nice. We didn't really want somewhere to go really busy. This is just some out of hours, like, you know, telephone numbers and stuff. And then this was about COVID and things, if you needed anything. And obviously because, they, because of COVID, they weren't doing like a full house cleaning thing. They only cleaned it once whilst you were there. Um, but yeah, so this was just a little, you know, welcome pack and stuff. So this is um, about getting there and our actual accommodation and things. Um, I've used quite a few different washi tapes in this album. Um, I've used like this pink triangle one. It's very, very faint. It's quite see-through, so it gets a lot of the pattern from the paper behind it. Um, but I think that came from Hobbycraft. This little diagonal stripe one, this came from Paper Chase, I believe. Um, and then I've also used um, some little banners from Dubcraft and these little border things. These came from Ikea actually in like a sticker book. So I've used, yeah, I used loads of random different stuff. Um, these alphas came from a paper mania, um, actually like a paper pad that had like three alphas as well and they were quite cool, but they're not my favorite. I'm not too keen on the white background of it, but you know, I, was, I wanted to use them up sort of thing. So this was our view when we were driving down to our accommodation and you can see the sun was like shining on the sea and it was so, so pretty. We stayed at the, uh, one. I, I, I'm i sorry, I don't speak Welsh, so I don't, I really don't want to butcher the language, um, but Gilfac or Gilfach Holiday Village, um, and it was really nice. Um, as I said, it was these little chalets right by the sea, so we got some really good views, and we actually paid a little bit extra 
to have the view um and i think this is actually ours here i think that's our car so um yeah it was it was really nice you know it's quite basic accommodation but it was at completely adequate for what we wanted it for um so these are just some pictures of the accommodation again so this is our car outside our little chalet and then this is you know the picture how close they were to the cliffs obviously there was a fence here but you know they literally just dropped down to the sea so um yeah it was really scenic really really pretty um, but this, these are just some alpha stickers, some glitter alpha stickers, I think from Hobbycraft. And I just put number 20 because that was the number of our um, chalet. And this, this is, a, you know, that's just my license plate. So that's why I've covered that out. Um, but yeah, and I use these like um, journaling card bits from a Wilco sort of pack. And they see that like they, the revision cards. And I use them for journaling because obviously they've already got the lines on and I'm not very good at writing straight. <laughs> So this was just about our little like patio area. So outside we have like this little bench that we would sit on in the sun um, and just look out at the ocean. But because we were by the sea, we used to get a load of seagulls and crows and all sorts of birds come over with little robins as well. So it was really cute. And there's some pictures of these seagulls. I fed them once and I probably shouldn't have. I gave them some bread and then they wouldn't leave us alone. So they were there all day, every day, and they would squawk at us if we didn't pay, uh, didn't pay them, <laughs> didn't feed them. So, um, yeah, so I just put here friends and obviously I just, you know, described that they were basically waiting for us all day. Um, so these little two by twos, these are random bits from all different collections, um, you know, like simple stories and, you know, Echo Park and stuff. So I've just used quite a, a few different things. And I've also used one of the little paper clips there just to point down at the seagulls. So this is inside our little chalet, um, our home for the weekend so it was a tiny little kitchen but it had like an oven and a microwave and everything that you sort of needed a little sort of sofa area which was cute and um, like we had tv we didn't have any signal though we had no wi-fi whatsoever so we had to go walk up to the hills to get some wi-fi which was not a bad thing you know it's nice just to get away and chill basically and not have to you know be on your phone all the time um but then this was our bedroom so this was just a double bedroom um and yeah it was nice it was small but it was it was completely adequate and we really enjoyed it actually we always like to stay in different sort of accommodations so the first sort of day we were there we went for a little walk um i'm not so sure what's happening here these must have been stuck they are supposed to be here no i'm gonna have to um stick these back down um but yeah so these are about the walk that we went to um we just went for a walk up to the, the shop basically but we passed all these cows and they were so cute they were just all staring at us and this one was particularly brave um so i got some pictures of those and we just sort of um yeah we stood and watched them for a bit um so yeah so i've used these gels and this is what's causing this problem actually sometimes they get a little bit stuck to the other photos so that's how it's um you know they're almost like enamel dots sort of thing and they get stuck and that's how it's probably pulled that one off. Um, so I'm going to have to stick that down properly. Um, but yeah, and then we passed this little bench. Um, that was really cute. It's called the happy bench. And because of coronavirus and stuff, people obviously are quite lonely. Um, you know, not being able to see people and stuff. So uh, they, they, they sort of made up all these little signs. And they've been putting them around benches all over the UK and stuff. So we found one. Um, and yeah, we um, took a picture of that one. Um, and then this was basically what we were going to do for the rest of our time there. We was only there for the weekend. We spent pretty much Friday and Monday travelling. Um, so Saturday and Sunday, we were going to go to Newquay. New I don't know how you pronounce that because it's two separate words. Um, and then Aberreon, um, which is another town. So one day we went that way and the other day we went that way. So this was just a nice sort of, um, well, yeah, sign just to sort of show what we did um, each day. So this was like the beach area down by the uh, where our accommodation was. We walked down there one day and we just went for a little walk. Um, the, the tide was out so we could walk right around the rocks and we were looking for like if there was any shells or if there was any like sea life basically. Um, we saw a few random little bits and pieces but there were a lot of jellyfish but we saw loads more throughout the journey but there was a few down on this side. They're all dead unfortunately but they were all washed up on the, on the side. Um, but it was really interesting and it was nice to go down um it was a little bit it scared me a little bit because we were surrounded by cliffs and i was so worried for some reason that the water was just going to come 
right up to us and stuff. So we only went down there when the tide was out. So yeah, it was nice. It was cute. So then this was our first day, sort of first full day. We walked um, to this Nuki. I'm going to call it Nuki because that's how I've always, there is another place called Nuki in the UK. Um, it might be wrong. Someone can correct me. Um, but it's a really nice um, walk along the coast. It took us quite a while. Um, I think it took us about two hours each way, but it was one of the best walks we've ever done because it was like walking all along these cliff tops and then you went onto a beach and you went through like a forest and it was just, yeah, it was really, really nice. So this was just a picture of us when we set off um, with the views and then this is obviously Joe walking through. Um, so yeah, no, it was really, we had a really good day for it as well. So I used quite a few sort of um, three by four cards and this was a Paige Evans um, stamp, the scenic group one. And I love how that come out. You know, that looks like it's part of the card. Um, so, yeah, it was, as I said, it was a really, really lovely walk all along the cliff tops. And, you know, as the, wa the water was so clear and because it was so sunny as well, it just made it look so much nicer. Um, but yeah, so I used quite a lot of embellishments, to be honest, more than I actually thought. Um, you know, like these little cute little stars, these came from a free sort of um, Dovecraft order from Craft Label. They always give you a pack of stickers, so I've got about three packs of them now. Um, and then there's some little flowers. These came from, they're like a washi tape. Um, I use them in my Vietnam album as well. So part of the walk, um, we went along the beach. Um, we went the completely wrong way, to be honest. And we ended up having to like walk this was when the tide was all right but when we got round to this side we had to literally like we were between cliffs and water and it was it panicked me a lot because i was just so worried we we're gonna get caught in this water and we're gonna you know i i don't mind water I, I like water i like swimming and everything like that but when it's like when you're stuck between cliffs and water it sort of panics me a little bit so we made the completely wrong decision by doing that and we actually cut up short and ended up going through someone's garden because we were panicking about it so and they they were really nice they obviously said oh this is private property and i was sort of like oh i don't want to walk along the you know the tides in and it's it's a bit sketchy so she was nice and she let us pass through and stuff but yeah normally you should wait till the tides out so it's a clear path but we did not do that um, so yeah, so when we was walking along, we found these jellyfish, um, and they were absolutely massive. Um, they are known to be around that sort of area, so it wasn't like a, you know, a, a unique sort of thing. Um, but there was just, they were like, just washed up, um, on the, the beach and there was loads of them. So this was the route that we sort of took almost here. It's very, very, you won't be able to read that, but that basically says, um, beach route impossible at high tide and obviously that's what we did <laughs> we should not have gone that way um you you should have walked around basically instead of going along the coast but because we didn't realize that we we walked up and then we ended up cutting through about here into someone's garden and then walking down um so yeah that was our own mistake but it put me on edge for a bit so these were about the jellyfish. They're absolutely massive. Like I, I still can't get over it. You know, obviously there's a picture of me with one because they were so big. I just, you know, this it, it's just huge. Like if I come across that in the sea, I would honestly die of shock. But it's apparently they're not dangerous. They, you know, even if they did sting you, it's very mild. It wouldn't hurt you. Um, but yeah, they're called barrel jellyfish and they're not really a danger to us. So um, it's just mind-blowing like you could see it's all its insides and everything so it was quite cool to see up one close because obviously you don't normally get to do that with jellyfish but you can see there's just absolutely loads all over the place so that was quite cool um and then this was us walking along the beach this was actually coming back um but i wanted to put it in there because it was almost like the journey sort of thing so this is what it should have looked like when we were walking along, you know, but really when we were walking to Nuki, the water was right up to the edge and this didn't exist. So, yeah, I'm glad we got to walk along the beach um, properly on the way back compared to when we went in the first place. Um, but yeah, so I got to use some of my little like um, stickers that came from Etsy and stuff like little starfish and stuff. So they were cute. And then this was one little more, one little more more of our journey um, to Nuki as well. So we crossed this cool little bridge and 
there was a load of random little waterfalls and stuff like that so it was just a really nice walk um, the views were just amazing I said it's probably one of the best walks I've ever done um because there's just so much diversity it wasn't just walking one sort of thing all day um, and this is Nuki so um it's a really cute little town you can see all the, the houses lined up and they're all like different colors and they're just so pretty like you know it looked like a little Balamori town which is like a kids program here um but it was just so cute but yeah it took us about two hours to get there um, and it was quite busy um, because it was like the first weekend that people could go out and about and there wasn't as many restrictions. So it was quite busy. It was a, it was a nice hot weekend as well. So families were all down there for the day. Um, but I used, um, I think these are Paige Evans um, butterfly stickers. I just stamped along um, there and I used like a tag to say like from where we were to where we were going. These are all these little gel stickers getting stuck. And then this was um, some pictures of our like little trip down to the beach side. Um, the water was so clear, you know, for the UK, this is not normal. <laughs> we normally don't get this nicer water. So it was, it was a pleasant surprise to sort of see such beautiful water here in the UK. Um, and yeah, I've, I've been to Wales before, but I've never done like the beach side of Wales. I've done the mountain. I've done Snowdonia before, but I've, I've not done the beach side. So I was really, really surprised and it was so pretty. Um, we got like a little, well, we got a Mr. Whippy ice cream, which was nice. It actually felt like we were on holiday, which <laughs> we haven't felt for such a long time. Um, and then we had fish and chips by the sea. So we went to go buy some and we just sat on the coast and we just had our fish and chips. And we were starving because obviously we walked like two and a half hours um, and we knew we were going to have to walk all the way back. So we needed some energy. So we bought like some fish and chips and had those by the sea. Um, as I said, it was quite busy. There was a load of people around. Um, but yeah, it was nice and I kept my fork. And then the second day, uh, we walked all to all the way to Aberreon. Again, I could be butchering that name, but this was a little bit closer, so it only took about an hour, but it was just as nice. To be fair, it was probably prettier because it was all along the coast. It didn't cut through anywhere else, but um, yeah, it was really nice. We cut across this field, so this is our like holiday park here that's where we walked to Nuki, and then we walked in the up opposite way um up over these fields and we could see our park from there so got some nice pictures and then this is a picture of um the cliffs and stuff and we walked all the way around and i put a little geotag where joe is it is that tiny little dot there um but yeah it was just so pretty and these some more pictures of our walk um i didn't get as many pictures um of this day for some random reason I think because I just felt like I was just taking pictures of cliffs and sea and <laughs> all that sort of stuff so I tried not to um, take too many of the same thing um, but yeah so we this is Abare on here so we walked down onto the the coast um, and then yeah got some nice pictures of the, the rocks and the beach it was a little bit chillier by there because it was very windy um, but there was just as many jellyfish and stuff so <clears throat> we saw a few more and these little cloud stickers are so cute they came from the Dovecraft like free pack um i got um and then we had a wander around we went down to the they've got like a nice little harbor um and we had lunch so we had like a it was sunday so we had sunday dinner um at one of the restaurants and it was nice because we had it outside and it was good weather um and again it was one of the first meals that we've had outside because the restrictions lifted that you know restaurants could open with outdoor seating so it was just nice to be able to have you know a meal you know outside of your own house for a while um but yeah, so I kept the receipt, I photocopied that, so hopefully it won't fade, but although it is quite faded at that moment. Um, but yeah, and I cut this three by four card in half um, and, uh, you know, used it as two separate journaling cards rather than just one, which was quite cool. Um, and then, yeah, this is the harbour of Abareon. And so we just, you know, took a picture of the boats and the nice little houses along the side. And yeah, it was just really, really cute. And then... That's pretty much it. I didn't really take any pictures of like our journey home. I think because it was absolutely pouring it down, we were sort of just, we just went home. Like we just went, we didn't even stop. We didn't, you know, we just played music and we just drove all the way home and stuff in the rain. So yeah, no, but it was a really nice weekend. We had a really good time with the weather. We were very lucky with it. Um, as I said, it rained Friday and it rained Monday, but Saturday and Sunday were just lovely. So yeah, so that is my album for Wales.
Um, I'm sure I will be back soon with either a craft haul or another flip through. Um, yeah, we have got we've had two other trips other than this, so I will be back soon. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Bye.